Hi, I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and today I'm doing an update on microneedling. So if you've been following me at all on social media, you know that microneedling is a big part of my weekly uh, skincare routine. So every Sunday, I'll normally pick a body part, whether it's knees or my thighs, the back of my arms, my stomach, my neck, my face, and I'll, I'll microneedle. But if you saw my last video on microneedling, you'll see that the way I'm microneedling these days is very, very different. But before we get into that and all the different ways that you can microneedle, I just wanna talk briefly about the concept of microneedling. We stopped making collagen at the age of 25. So when we were younger and we'd be riding our bicycle, we'd fall down with skin and knee and we'd form a scab on our knee. And it was our body's way of signaling for collagen to be produced to go to that aid. Well, at the age of 25, we stopped producing collagen. So we have to trick our bodies into behaving like they did when they were younger. So anytime that you create little microtronomas in your skin, you're signaling your body to produce collagen and elastin. So that's what we're doing with microneedling. We're creating little microtraumas. So there's many different ways that you can do this. I used to use only a roller. Now I still use a roller. This is by Glow Pro. Um, it vibrates a little bit. There's a little red light uh, therapy going on. Um, not really enough red light therapy to where the red light is really doing anything. There's a video to come on red light therapy, so make sure you watch that. But I like these big rollers for the body because you can cover a big area and it's still very effective, right? Now, the, the critique about these kind of rollers is that by, the, by rolling the needles over the skin, it creates tears. Now, I don't really care about the tear. It's, you're still stimulating collagen, but for the face, these might not be as great. So I still use this for the body. I'll have a link down below in the description for all of the products. Um, but this is also a really good product. This is by Nurse Jamie. This is the beauty stamp. And I like this because you're not rolling across the skin, you're stamping directly into the skin. So the type of trauma goes straight down as, a, as opposed to make a, you know, a triangle kind of tear, it makes a, a perfect perforation. So this is really good for like around the eyes, on top of the, the eyelids. Um, I love this. They're, they also make these kind that are adjustable, which are great. I don't remember the name of this, but it will be in the link below. Um, and I got this on Amazon, but you can roll this up. Do you see how big this is? Yeah, this is like the big, go big or go home. This goes up to three millimeters. So this dials all the way down to zero and then all the way up to three. Now with all of these, you know, it's super, super important to disinfect these. So I always run these under really hot water and then I have a spray bottle of alcohol and before and after, oops, I have the cap on this one. Before and after use, I really spray these very well and let them air dry, but they have come up with much better and safer ways to microneedle. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. The Dr. Pen has been making this tool for a long time. They've, they're now on, this is the M8. So there's an A1, there's a bunch of different A6, there's a bunch of different ones they keep improving. This is the M8 and I love this, this tool. The reason why this is so good is not only does it make the perforation straight down like the stamps, but every time you use it, you're using a fresh sterile cartridge with needles. So you use this and you dispose of it. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a little bit. Before we start, I just wanna make sure it's super important. Even though this is sterilized, you want to start with absolutely nothing on your face. So you wanna cleanse your face really well. And then I actually even use an alcohol wipe after that. Oh, this is gonna make my eyes water. But as you can tell, there's nothing on my face. My face has been as squeaky squeaky clean right now. Okay, my face is gonna get kind of red from this alcohol, but it is what it is. It's gonna get really red in a second. I'm gonna open up this cartridge, and then this is going to slip right on top of here. 
and you twist it. So twist it into place. This is the part where the white cap is. Those, were, those are where the needles are. So we can take that off. And there, there's many people do this in various ways. Um, I like to use just a very cheap hyaluronic acid. This is by uh, Costa de Baja. I, this is from Amazon. I think this is, I wanna say $19. I don't know, I'll have the link below. But really the only reason why you're using this is you wanna create a slip on your skin so that when the machine goes over your skin, it's not tugging on it, right? So this is a, a easy way, a cheap way to create a slip on your skin. So I'm just going to take a bunch of this on a very sterile face. And just, I'm, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on my forehead. Now, the thinner the skin, the more it hurts. So there is, um, there is numbing cream as well that sometimes I will use if I really wanna get deep in there. But for the most part, I don't really use numbing cream, but I'll have that down in the description as well. And then you can just put on a mask. So you'd put on the numbing cream, you'd put on a mask, let the numbing cream sit in there. And if you're super sensitive, then that's a really good way to where, you know, you can still get in there and get a good treatment without having a ton of pain. I'm gonna do the needle height at about a 0.5, yeah, a 0.5. So that's a half a millimeter. And then the speed, so that means the depth of the needle, right? Now the speed, this goes up to six. If the power of the machine is going really fast, it doesn't have time to fully penetrate into the skin, right? It's more, it's just kind of bouncing off the top. So the faster the, the number is on here, the higher the number is on the machine, the less depth it's going to get, right? The slower it is, the more time it has to go into the skin and come out so you're getting a deeper, a deeper treatment. So there's two ways to be in control of how deep of a treatment you get. One is the depth of the needles and the other is the speed of the machine. So I changed my mind <laughs> on the depth of the needle after I did that first little mark. So I'm going to go down to about a 0.25 and I'm going to have the speed of this up to about a five. And then I, you see I have all of this hyaluronic acid that's creating this slip and I'm just making tiny little circles. And yes, you can feel this. You can get right into your hairline. There's actually a lot of evidence that microneedling will increase um, hair production. So it can regrow hair. Because again, you're creating trauma in a way that stimulates collagen Oh, there's times when I'm not gonna be able to talk because it's a little bit painful. Now you've seen like on, on a lot of YouTube channels, people will do this and they'll, they'll use Retin-A and microneedle the Retin-A into the skin. Yes, you can do that. It is a way to create channels to where your product can absorb better. But this, this is already doing so much work. You really, you know, it, the main thing that this microneedler is doing is creating the trauma. So I always just use like a pure hyaluronic acid, very simple, keep it clean, keep it safe. You're already going to get a really good treatment. You can tell it's getting like red. There's a few places where you can see just tiny, tiny touches of a little bit of blood. So I'm gonna back off of those areas a little bit and I'm gonna add a little bit more slip. So you wanna, you wanna keep it very goopy. And you wanna take a few passes. So oftentimes I'll take a pass at a certain uh, needle length and then come back over it once the area is warmed up and like really get in there good. So usually wanna take a couple passes and do like one, I usually do one part of the face at a time because the, you know, however much fat and muscle you have underneath that skin is gonna determine how deep you can go and your, and your pain tolerance to be honest with you. 
the, the forehead always hurts the most. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and move on. So I'll come back over and I'll see like what parts of it aren't as red as they could be and I'll know I'll have to get a little bit deeper in there. Okay, so, whew. So you don't wanna go over your eyeball, obviously, but you can go right over that brow bone so that you get like, you know, it kind of helps with that creepy eye, the creepy eyelid. So I'm gonna stay with that same needle length, which was a 0.25. I'm gonna go up to like a six and just go right over the brow bone. And you can even pull the, little, the skin up a little bit and get right up under that eye. As long as there's bone there, it's safe. Then I'm gonna get right on the sides bring this down a little bit. So I'm all the way up on six, which means it's not penetrating quite as much. I'm gonna take that down to a five. And you can spot treat as well. So you can just hold it and just do like a little stamp, stamp, stamp. Okay, now go underneath my eye. Now you don't want to press, you don't want to press too hard at all. You just kind of want to skim it. So I'm going to go again, I'm going to back up a little bit. This is the most fragile um, area. So I'm going to go just between zero and 0.25. I know a lot of people that go higher than that, but I just don't think it's worth the risk. I'm going to go to five and I'm going to get right under the eye and right on that side bone right there. There is a little bit of downtime with this, I'm not gonna lie. You know, you can't just pop up the next morning and stick makeup over the top of, of it. Sometimes, it depends. You, it, you can, but it really depends on how deep you wanna go. Your face should look a little bit like it's sunburned. I've never had my eyes done. Everybody, I get that asked a lot, like I, if I had my eyes done, I have never had my eyes done and I'm 53 years old, and that, this under the eye crepiness is a giant problem as we age. So, not a problem, but it's a reality. It's the reality as we age. So, these kind of treatments that, that stimulate collagen and signal our own body to tighten that up and fight wrinkles, um, that's, that's basically what I've been doing all these years, right? You just trick in your body. So I wanna keep, once you get done with an area too, you'll notice it gets kind of dry. So you wanna keep applying, just keep everything very moist. So even on areas that you've already, you've already treated, you wanna make sure you keep it all super slippery. Going back in. Okay, so now that I'm going down a little bit further, I'm, I'm, I'm heading away from those areas that are super sensitive. So I can, up the, I can up this a little bit. Actually, let me go over my nose first. I once like had a little nick on my nose, so I wanna, do, I wanna keep this a little bit low. So I'm gonna go over my nose. Yep, you can go right over the bridge of your nose. It helps with you know, reducing the pore size. I need to go up a little bit because I can't really feel that so much. Okay, I'm going up to the 0.25. Getting right in there, right in the corners. Again, you can always just do a stamp treatment too with this. So you just stamp, stamp, right? if that's something that you're a little bit more comfortable with, instead of the, I kind of do a combo. I do a lot of little circles and I do some stamping as well. But I do notice that this really does help with pore size. Okay, so we're gonna adjust this now because this is the, the most sensitive part of the face. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the, I'm gonna up the needle length 
and reduce the speed. So if I increase the needle length, I'm going deeper. And if I decrease the speed, I'm going deeper, right? It's, it's a little bit counterintuitive with the speed. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is a good one on it. So the, the, the more meaty it is on your, you know, your jowls, on your chin, the thicker it is with more muscle, you want to go higher on your needles and lower on your speed to get that depth, right? Because it needs time, the needles need time to penetrate the skin. Oh, and you can go right over your lips as well. It's a little too painful for me, but when I have numbing cream on, I'll go right over my lips. Get really, I like to get this jowly area really deep. So again, um, this stimulates collagen, stimulates elastin production, resurfaces. You'll notice that your skin will get a little peely within like four or five days. It's almost like you just had a peel. Um, and it's, you know, just so it does resurfacing. Tightens the skin. I mean, there's a, there's a lot going on here. So when I do a treatment like this, where I'm getting to the point where it looks very sunburned, I'll do this once a month. This will be once a month on my face. And I've noticed like the, this, the texture, the skin texture and skin tone has, has really improved. So I try to time this if I have like an event or something, I'll, I'll do a treatment two weeks prior to when I have to do something important. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, right above the lip hurts. Mm. We're, we're, we're just continuing to keep it slippery with this hyaluronic acid. So I wanna just keep applying, even on the parts where I've already done the treatment. But look, if you look at my forehead, you can see that there's not a, you know, it just looks like I have a little bit of a sunburn. So all of this will kind of calm down and we'll end up with just like this little sunburned face with a lot of things happening. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little burny, kind of, it feels probably how it looks, right? So I think that's a pretty good treatment. So now, you know, I wanna make sure I get a fresh, I have fresh needles. So I'm going to change this. Now we're gonna move on to the neck. I've been working on these horizontal lines of the neck for a while. Uh, it's, um, it's always a battle, but you know, at 53, it should be a battle. Should be what we're, you know, they're not supposed to be easy. We've spent a lot of years looking around, right? I've been on the planet for a long time. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this hyaluronic acid. That's why I like this really kind of inexpensive one from Amazon because you know you can just keep adding it on and you need a lot of this to create some slip. So I'm gonna look back now that I, I'm adding a new cartridge to this. So this is a 16 and I like the 16. Let me see if I can show you this. So that's a 16. But the 16 is just like an all around good cartridge. So the 16 means that's the number of needles that they have. So again, I'm putting this on, I'm twisting it, and then I'm taking the cap off. Now I'm gonna move down to my neck. And we're just gonna add a bunch of hyaluronic acid. So we get that slip. And I'm just gonna really kind of attack those horizontal lines. Now tonight, when I go to sleep, I'm not gonna wash my face. I'm gonna leave it just like this because I want all of that hyaluronic acid to just sit there along with the fluid and the little bit of blood that came out of my skin and it will act as like a healer. So I'm gonna, I just want my skin to start that healing process so I'm not gonna add any of my normal, none of my normal nighttime you know, products. I know people that do, but I, I just think that this machine does enough. You don't need to then add Retin-A as well.
Okay, so I'm just adding hyaluronic acid all on this other side. We're getting close, we're almost done. But this whole treatment takes about 30 minutes. So that's, you know, if you really wanna get a good treatment and you're not spotting, but you're, you're not spot treating, you're, just, you're really getting every part of your face and neck, it's about, a, it takes about 30 minutes. Again, once a month to get, a, to get it good, you will see a giant difference in the quality of your skin. And if you like what I do, if you like these videos, if you feel like you're learning something, please subscribe, please share with your friends. If you have any questions at all, reach out to me. I do also do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So I've walked people through this process through Zoom where we are doing this side by side. So I do, that's also an option. You know, a lot of people buy these kinds of machines and then they're too afraid to use them. And that's a waste of money. So if, you, if you're one of those people, you're like, I've always wanted to do that and I'm kind of afraid to do it and I don't really know what to do, reach out to me. I will hold your hand through the computer screen and we will get a good treatment together. Again, all of the links for these products are down, down in the description. So doing things like this, microneedling, where you are creating microtraumas and calling on your own body to produce collagen and resurface and shrink pores and tighten the skin. That's a really good way to live young. Ah, look, I think we're done. I think we got a good one. <laughs> I know it's really pretty. Trust me, in a week it's gonna look fantastic.